welcome to the channel. My name is Lorena Victoria. Hope you're doing really well. This is a collective reading of your person's thoughts, feelings and energies. Let's see what's coming out. I'm going to use the Rider Waite there to deep dive in a little bit more into your reading. But I'm going to use the Oracle here, the Love Oracle, to let Spirit guide me to what you need to know right now. And sort of the gist of the per your person's thoughts or feelings or energies that are coming out if you find this is your reading today that's great please subscribe as well if you like what i do there are more coming like this so um if they when they pop up do check them out because they could be messages for you today pick a cards are coming as well i haven't forgotten unfortunately i'm a little bit under the weather right now um so i'm um, just taking some time but i want oh hello <laughs> so i wanted to put a small reading on small collective reading on the channel for you um for those of you who need guidance as well and some help also should we have a look what this is here we go we've got ghosted okay we've got i'm sorry i disappeared i needed to get away and clear my head so ghosted i'm sorry i disappeared i needed to get away and clear my head Okay, let's have a look what's going on with them then, if you haven't heard from this person for a while. They are giving you an apology, if that helps. <laughs> okay, let's dive deep into their energy now. So, this subject was ghosted. I'm sorry I disappeared. You need They needed to get away and clear their heads. Okay, should we tune in? What else, please, Spirit? Thank you. Two cards have coming out. The tower has come out. The king of wands. Okay. Now the tower comes out when somebody is worried about something. Uh, the tower can come out when there's some unexpected change. But I always feel it's a card of fear. And then you've got your king of wands sitting right next to this. And the king of wands is often not ready for something in reverse. They are passionate, charming, charmed the birds out the bees. They probably charmed you here. And they looked pretty powerful sitting on that throne. Some of your people could be fire signs here as well. I'm not saying it doesn't matter if they're not. But um, we could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius somewhere strongly in their chart as well. Whether it's sun, moon, rising, Venus or Mars. It doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter if, you, if they're not. When this card goes in reverse, it's telling me how weak they actually feel. Um, and they're obviously not ready for something. But the King of Wands as a personality, even though they're weak, because they're weak, they can come across as arrogant. OK, I need to say that. I love to dive into the personality of each of these uh, cards with people on it. <laughs> they're frightened of something. OK, there could be fear of some changes going on here as well. Um yeah, the Page of Cups is definitely a mature energy. Okay, were things getting like hotting up? The feeling I'm getting is things were hotting up between you. That Page of Cups is telling me a person may have not been ready for something so serious, as in romantic, um, romantic nature. They are maybe not ready. They might be um, too immature. They could have been reeling from another breakup, I have to say. And it's the feeling I'm getting is maybe things were getting serious between you and it's like, oh, my God, and they've panicked. Um, now, the tower, the feeling I'm getting with the tower for some of you is it's unexpected, possibly for you as well, that this person did this. Because if I've got these two the other way around, they would have come on strong and gave you the, um, you know, the possibilities of something, the promise of something and got your hopes up. So, um no wonder they're apologising to you. They seem to be not ready for a relationship, I have to say. It's like, oh my God, they panicked. This could have been an impulsive decision um, with this reading. The Two of Swords is reversed. Okay, the Six of Cups. Okay, so your Two of Swords is there. Okay, so your person is confused, doesn't know what they want. That Six of Swords, may, uh, sorry, Six of Cups may indicate a return of some kind. Um, 
they may be coming back. I need to tell you that, whether you want them to or not. Um, it feels, because the Six of Cups is all about nostalgia, so it, it feels like they need to return to either, this could be an apology with some flowers, they might not buy you flowers, but they could be explaining themselves here as well. It feels very much like they are sorry, but maybe they don't know how to show it. I think they're worried that if they give you the, these, you know, let's say if they give you these flowers, that they put your hopes up a little bit. But they are staying confused about what they want. I have to say that your next card out was your Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups energy is not Prince Charming. They are the reverse of that. So you can see here that the Knight of Cups in the upright position can be somebody who's full on romantic proposals. They are charming. They are wanting something romantic with you. Even though I can see a return, I'm looking at a non-romantic one at this point. I think that they are, some of them, some of them for you are going to, you're going to be contacted by this person. Um, I don't think, I'm seeing their energy is not mean. I don't think they're, mis you know, they're meanies. I think that they feel bad of the way they've acted towards you. And you must be so much on their mind right now to the point where, you know, that tower is telling me how much they don't like this. That's, we've got major arcana there. The tower is a strong card. The tower is telling me that they're worried about the upheaval. It feels like they're not ready for romance. It feels almost like they want to make a return to make it okay. I'm going to pull another card out because I wouldn't want them to return to get your hopes up and then them being this Knight of Cups in reverse. Like not giving you that, like getting your romantic hopes up because we've got some Cups energy, which is emotional. Let's get one more card out for that night here. Exactly as I thought. You see, the Wheel of Fortune is coming out. So, and the Three of Wands. So, I'm sensing they would like to be in your energies and you would like to hear from them because you've got a Wheel of Fortune, which is saying you could be intensely happy that they've come back. And then that Three of Wands in reverse is telling me that they could set all this back again. So, I'm sensing they want to be around you. But the feeling I'm getting is they don't want serious romance and they worried about getting your hopes up here. Um, so they're not making you promises, I have to say, darlings. I'm really sorry about that. But with this reading, the Wheel of Fortune can suddenly shift in your favour. So it could be that they worried about getting your hopes up if they make some kind of return, um, is what I can see here. I'm not saying that they don't have emotional connection to you because they certainly do. But the feeling that I'm getting with your cards is that they don't want to make plans for something so serious. And I know this reading is probably something you don't want to hear right now. But they are, I feel like a lot of your people are going to make this return. It might even come out of the blue with these two cards that something will suddenly shift but I think it's one of them not wanting to look bad or feel bad about the way they've done this. Because it's kind of like, I'm sorry, I disappeared. I think it's not that they don't like you. It's that they're not ready. So if you are blaming yourself here about um, the way, you know, what have I done to make them do this? Don't they like me? You know, I think it's not about you. It's definitely about them. Let's get some thoughts and feelings cards for this before we stop today. Let's tune in. Okay. We've got, I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. I feel lonely. I wish I could be fully honest with you. You were right. I can't handle your love. We've got the passion is too much. So they're telling you they can't cope, isn't it? So for those of you who've been blaming yourself, don't part with my BS. <laughs> It's not about you. We've got sexual desire. I'm not surprised with the King of Wands coming out too. And we have 
emotions overwhelm me. I knew that emotionally your person was all over the place. I feel like they don't want to be seen as the bad guy as well. It's like they don't want you to think that they're horrid or they've done something horrible because it's quite a soft centre, I feel, under the underneath. But they're, they're kind of freaked that maybe this was heading somewhere serious and it's something they're freaked about. I think it scares them. Um, a lot of them are going to make some kind of return, I have to say. Um, I feel like they don't like things the way they've been left and what they've done if that makes sense okay my lovelies that's what i've seen today that's the reading i've got for you today if this is resonating and um please give it a thumbs up drop a comment if you so wish of course um if you find this isn't your reading today pick a cards are coming so don't worry and also um there are more collective readings coming there's more on the channel there for you to look at so you can look at the playlist and just go back in time all the readings are timeless to when you need them and find them thank you my lovelies take care so next time bye bye